Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today we'll be looking at the Game Word GeForce 4 Power Pack 650 TV and 650 XP Golden Sample video cards. Let me first have a look at what's included in the 650 XP package. You get the video in, video out cable, a whole bunch of software, a manual, and as well a DVI to VGA connector and the video card. In the 650 TV, you just get an S-Video to composite video, a DVI to VGA connector, also some software and drivers and the manual and the card. These cards have both similarities and differences. First of all, they certainly look the same and they also have the same core speed of 250 megahertz and they are both based upon the NVIDIA TI 4200 video card. Let's just go through one at a time. First of all, let's look at this one here on the bottom which is the 650 XP. This one here comes with 128 megabytes of memory and that memory speed is 4 nanoseconds at 444 megahertz default. The software that's included with this one is a little more than this one here. The software that is included is WinDVD, WinProducer, WinCoder, as well as the game word Power CD, which includes drivers and utilities. And there's a game included with this one called Serious Sam. Also, this one here comes with a DVI connector, DVI to VGA, and it also comes with this adapter. This is an S video out, an S video in, a composite in, and a composite out adapter. And this goes plugged right into the back of the card. Now onto this one. This one comes with 64 megabytes of memory. The memory speed is 500 megahertz at 3.3 nanoseconds. The software that is included with this one is only WinDVD, the game words Power CD, which includes the drivers and utilities, and that's it. It also comes with a DVI connector, DVI to VGA, as well as an S-Video to composite video out. Now that you know the major similarities and differences between these two cards, let's just have a closer look at them. Right away you'll notice that the 650 TV has heat sinks on the memory, on both the front and the back of the card. Now how do these differ when it comes to overclocking? Well, this one here, to be expected, the memory will go a little bit higher. The core I got up to 310, and the memory I got up to 590 on the 650 TV. As for the 650 XP, I was able to get the core up to 315 and the memory up to 550. Let's now see how both of these cards perform with their respective overclocks. And the 3D Mark 2001 second edition result is 13,678. And I'm using the following Comanche 4 benchmark settings, a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024, the bit depth is 32, texture compression is checked, I've disabled a V-Sync, and hardware shaders are checked. And the result is 52 frames per second. In the Quake 3 Arena demo, these are the following graphic settings. A video mode of 1280 by 1024, the color depth is 32-bit, the geometric detail is at high, the texture detail is at max, the texture quality is 32-bit, and the texture filter is trilinear. And the result is 192 frames per second. I'm using all the default settings in the XS bar except for a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024 at 32-bit. And the result is 6198 and the Unreal Tournament 2003 benchmark results using a resolution of 1280 by 960, the flyby is 105, and the bot match is 50. The 3D Mark 2001 second edition result is 13,536. And I'm using the following Comanche 4 benchmark settings, a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024, the bit depth is 32, texture compression is checked, I've disabled a V-Sync, and hardware shaders are checked. 
and the result is 52.09 frames per second. In the Quake 3 Arena demo, these are the following graphic settings. A video mode of 1280 by 1024, the color depth is 32 bit. The geometric detail is at high, the texture detail is at max. The texture quality is 32 bit, and the texture filter is trilinear. And the result is 185.8 frames per second. I'm using all the default settings in the XS Mark except for a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024 at 32 bit. And the result is 6087 and the Unreal Tournament 2003 result at a resolution of 1280 by 960. The flyby is 113 and the bot match is 53. These video cards overall have excellent quality, excellent performance, fantastic bang for the buck, no questions about it. Overall, these are kick-ass products. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also be sure to pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go in and register. If you haven't already registered, registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.